Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. I help women create and build their dream lives in a body that they love while on a budget that they can afford. So today is the day before Father's Day 2022. We are here in Wild, Florida. And I thought I would share this with you guys. Um, we've been out and we've done an airboat tour, but, but I thought I would just come back and do a quick little intro because I have been able to take some video. And I thought I would share this with you guys because this is actually a fun and what I would consider to be affordable place here in Florida. It's a little bit north of Orlando where you can bring your family out. And I think you guys will have a good time because we have definitely enjoyed ourselves. So stay tuned and I'll share with you guys some of our day. Okay, so as I mentioned, we actually started our day with an airboat tour. We arrived at the park around 8.20. Our tour started at 9 a.m., but we were supposed to be there 30 minutes early. Okay, the total cost for this was around 165 and that was for three adults and two children i'll be sure to leave full details down in the description bar because we did use a groupon so i'll leave the groupon price as well as the price for um the park itself they estimate between six and eight hundred gators in this lake oh, wow. over a million statewide wow Oh, cool. Okay, that's really awesome. Look at this. All these trees in here are cypress. This lake is pretty well surrounded by them. Pointed things around the base are cypress knees, part of the root system. Helps that tree breathe in high water. <clears throat> if you look at that tree up there on our right, there is a brown and white line about three foot up. That is our high water mark. That's how much the water has dropped since Hurricane Irma came through a few years oh, back. Wow. Oh. Water was six inches deep in the park at Wild Florida at that time. Take Cypress 10 years to grow one inch in diameter. <clears throat> Oldest Cypress trees in the world are about 50 miles north of here. Oh, there was wow. one there they called the Senator. It was 3,500 years old. Wow. The biggest tree east of the Mississippi River. Lightning had not been good to it through the years, so it was in real bad shape. A while back, a girl went in there after the park closed, got inside of it, was smoking meth, caught what was left of it on fire, took a video as she was leaving, posted it on Facebook, so she was easy to catch. Gray stuff hanging from the trees called Spanish moss. Henry Ford used that for seat cushions in his Model T's. <laughs> so they realized it had red bugs in it. <laughs> oh, man. That's the first automotive recall in history. <laughs> where the phrase working the bugs out came from. You'll have an option between 30 and 60 minutes. We only did a 30 minute tour, but it was plenty of time. We had a great time. And also the headphones were provided and they came in handy as well. Oh, and one last thing I would recommend maybe using a little bit of bug spray ahead of time and also starting early, especially if you come during the summertime because it gets incredibly hot here in Florida. After the airboat tour, we made our way back into the park and I do need to add that the price that we paid, the 165 included admission to the park for all five of us, as well as a lunch, which I will share with you guys here in a little bit. So one thing that I love about this park is that there was so much to see. There were so many incredible animals. They had different shows. There was a playground for the kids to play on. And then they had this one section where you can actually go and you can feed some of the, what I would call like farm-like animals. It was just incredible, it was so much fun. I do want to add that there was an additional fee in order to feed the animals. I believe, I think my husband paid $5 for three cones. So he paid $10, yes, $10 for six cones of feed in order to feed the animals. And then the other thing that happened was that you're actually allowed to go back with the animals. I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, the kids had a great time with that. But I do want to add, we made a mistake. So you are not supposed to take food 
back with the animals you're not supposed to feed them directly you are supposed to feed you can feed them on the outside but you're not supposed to feed them in the inside so as you can see here my husband is feeding the goat so that was a mistake and my daughter also made the same mistake so i do want to reiterate feed the animals from the outside because it's like a boundary thing they don't want the animals to jump on um jump on the guests like so yeah don't do what we did do what i say and you'll be okay you guys this is so fun next we made our way over to the chump house grill and included in our ticket price you are able to choose from um a cheeseburger chicken nuggets hot dog or pulled pork All right, so to finish out the day, we headed over to the drive through safari, and I do need to make a quick correction. I mentioned that the lunch was included with the um, airboat tour, but that is incorrect. The lunch was included with the drive through safari. Okay, the park admission was included with the airboat tour, but the lunches were included with the drive through safari, and we paid a total of around 140 for the drive-through safari as well as the lunches. Now, I will say this. I feel that the boat tour was definitely worth it. Like, we would have paid more. Like, it was definitely worth it. Now, the drive-through safari. I think I may be a little biased because we have been to other drive-through safaris. where I think I enjoyed them a little <laughs> bit more, but let me explain to you why. Like Number one, with other drive-throughs, you have the option of, like you don't drive through yourself. Like the one we did today at uh, Wild Florida, you drive your car through like yourself. So I guess that's pretty nice considering like um, with COVID precautions and everything. So everyone's in their own vehicle. So I can see where that makes sense. However, if you have kids, like siblings, close in age that like to just kind of like aggravate each other and annoy each other. Oh my gosh, for an hour and a half, that was like, Lord help me. I was, I was done. I was just done. So it wasn't, I can't like blame it on the safari itself. It's just our kids. Okay. Um, I do want to say though, um, if I were to redo it, like there is, I would also be considering, I mean, it's currently June, 2022. So gas prices are up. So think about that. You know, you're in your car for, it's about an hour and a half long, but if you have not seen exotic animals before, like zebras and giraffes and water buff, like those type of animals, I definitely think that it is worth it. But if you've seen them before, I think for me, like if we were to go back, as a matter of fact, the family's already said they would love to go back and do the boat tour again. But no one's really crazy about doing the safari. But don't let me like I'm not trying to be a David Downer. I'm just sharing my experience, hoping that maybe it can help others along the way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.